What's up everyone, this is Matchraptor, also known as Luxatus Patella, and this is part 3 of my Croc 2 walkthrough series. Last episode, I managed to beat 3 more levels of this world, and now it's time to do some bosses. There are actually two bosses in the, in the first level. One is uh, Sovina, and the other is Cannonboat Keefe, also known as Captain Keefe. So we're gonna do Sovina first. Uh, you don't need any items to do this boss battle, it's just you need to go and enter the level. You have to do a little uh, mini le, mini map, you have to complete it first, and after that you have to do some boss fighting. So, let's get right to it. Here's the door, we have to talk to this gobble first. Sofina the squid is attacking the jetty. What's the jetty? She wants a ginger soda. An epic, uh, epic story is being told here. You must protect the ginger soda, guys. So, we start up the game again, and... This is not a boss battle. Like I said, we have to do a little level first, a little map. There are 50 crystals to be found here, which is pretty nice, because we're gonna need 50 crystals to, um, you know, get myself a heart replenishment, because I actually have 5 out of 7 lives right now. I need to do something real quick. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna go and kill this little Dantini first, because he's guarding a treasure, which is 5 crystals. Oh, you can shoot all you want. There we go. So we need a couple more. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. Yep, and there is the door to get to the boss battle. It's actually pretty quick, but we're gonna go get uh, the other tr boxes first. Oh, sorry. Yep, there we go, and there's two on the top, you can stomp so you can get on top of the platform so you can walk over it. Just be careful not to fall, otherwise that will be pretty ugly. And it's actually just a waste of a heart. So, let's just get that last box. And there we go, 50. We got 6 out of 7 hit points, which should be more than enough. I can actually replenish myself to uh, 7 out of 7, and you'll see soon why. So here we go, this is the boss battle. We see this little Gabo. And he brings TNT. That's pretty hardcore. We're gonna use some explosives. Okay, so you hear you hear already? Oh, there we go. I'm gonna get myself the heart first. There she is. It's almost like the Kraken, except less epic. Okay, so we have to hop on these crates and these barrels. And the thing is that you have to jump on them exactly right. They go do a little platform, a little pattern, so you can go from platform to platform, and there you go. You're right in front of her, so you can throw that shit at her. I think it's a female. Anyways, now we have to walk back. Here we see the Gabo bringing some more explosives. You don't have to wait for him. Just grab it whenever you see it and just run. Because when you are standing on the beach or on the sand, she will actually throw some, well, some sort of explosive at you. But if you're actually on the crate, she does nothing. Boring boss battle? Yeah, I know. Anyways, if you fall in the water with the TNT, you the TNT will actually explode and you will lose a hit point. So, don't do it. But, you think, this is pretty boring. I mean, this is the second time we do this, and then, boom, we only need to do it one more time. But look at this! Some of the boxes are actually starting to smoke or something, and the texture is all fucked up. Well, I don't know exactly how this comes, but we are to assume that they, like, got scorched or something, so... Uh, anyways, we are forced to take a different path instead of the one I usually just took. So we have to do, we have to take this path. I have to jump, which is jump from this there. It's a little bit bitchy, but I'm gonna do it. Yep, I'm gonna do it. Align the camera, throw that shit, and it's done. Easy boss battle. Get 50 more crystals, so I got 100, and so all my life is replenished. Now we got a cutscene. I'm gonna shut up for a bit. Ah, 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 ah,
<laughs> oh, did you get it out of his skin? And it's a bones kind of yeah, whatever. Anyways, I think that picture is from Quark One, but I'm not sure. Anyways, where the hell are we? Like, we just teleported into this place. Well, I'm gonna try to show you and explain better where we are. You see this grate? Well, in the beginning of uh, the sailor village, you can see this grate on the left, and basically we are now trapped in. How this ha happened, I have no idea, but we just have to assume Croc went in by himself. I think. Anyways, this is a very short level. Again, 50 crystals to be found here. A couple of skeletons pop up, you just have to punch him or just, you know, use your tail to get rid of him like this one. Is it dead? Of course not. If you know anything about skeletons in games, is that they always come back to life. So yeah. Oh yeah, this is one crystal which is in a really bitchy place, so there we go. Hop over that, punch him to death. Again, <laughs> pretty ironic. There we go. It's, it's pretty easy. This, um, supposedly this level is called the mines, but there's not really much excitement going on in here. This is just again a little walk to the boss, but we're already there. Look at that, 50 crystals again, so let's do this. I'll, I'll get you, you little green tear away. Oh, we have to save a Gabo. Use the gas on the jetty. What the hell is a jetty? Seriously. Okay. So, what do we need to do? Uh, this Keith guy is gonna shoot cannonballs at you. Oh, I didn't expect that. Sorry. Just stomp on this shit. Basically, there are three cannons. Use them. And aim at his crotch, of course, because that's how Croc rolls. Anyways, there are three different cannons that we have to use. Every time he loses a hit point, he's gonna shoot some more uh, cannonballs pretty faster. Like, here we have to hop over stuff, because the darker, uh, the darker pallets of wood have disappeared. Okay, now he's really in a rage mode. And we have to do one more. Like, this, this um, pallet, it would actually fall if I stand here too long. So there we go, we have, to, we have to jump, use this, and we're done! That was pretty easy. And again, we get 50 crystals extra. And now we can actually talk to this Gabo. From that nasty pirate. What a big bully he is. Croc should go and see Swap Me Pete. He's strange. Yeah, he is very kind of strange. But he's a really nice guy. So, uh, look at the amount of crystals that we have. I mean, damn. We got like 200 extra crystals from these two boss battles. And it took me like... Just a couple of minutes, it wasn't really hard. So we have to go to Swap Me P, because he has a surprise for us. Well done, Croc. You did very well here. Oh yes, the king is most grateful. But... What do you mean, but? I must continue your... I must continue my quest in the gold lands of the Cossack Gobos. And Swap Me Pete will take me there through his crystal ball or something. Hello, who are you? Croc! Yeah, I just figured out Croc was looking for his parents. A little bit badly explained if you ask me, but I guess it makes sense. That's, uh, I guess it makes sense with the footprint and all. Okay, so this is the second world, guys. It's like a snow world. So, the first thing you probably see is this snowman, but it is unfinished. This guy will tell you so. Oh really? You can? Dantinis hit the pieces. Those dirty Dantinis. You're so naughty. That sounds wrong, Gabo. Snowman needs a nose, a head and arms. It will look so lovely with those. Yeah, I agree. So, um, I'm gonna just show you a little bit of the world while I collect these things. Like the top hat, you can find it in here. Just... And it has the same sound effect like when you get the Gabo in the backpack. So it's actually more fun to do this. Uh, the second is in here, near the station. I think this is, lo looks pretty cool. Uh, wait, this is the carrot. There we go, we got the nose. Here are some, a uh, couple of missions. I think there are, yeah, there are like two missions here. Uh, there was one mission in the back and there was like another door in there. But I'm not gonna go there yet. 
an uh, ice. This is pretty cool. Like you really slide very, very far. So there is there are a couple of levels with ice in them and ice platforms and stuff. It's really annoying. Okay, this is another door, which is um, I'm not gonna explain yet. <laughs> Yay, foreshadowing. Uh, this is the arm. Oh, and these three gobbles, I hate them. Just look what they do. They're just walking around and they throw snowballs. How dare they? How dare they all to throw? Oh no, I'm gonna massacre it with snowballs and oh no, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna. You get. You want. You want some? Huh? Huh? You wanna get it? I'm gonna stop the shit out of you if you if you keep going like this. Jeez, those three gobbles are pretty annoying. Anyways, the last arm is here. So now we have to go back to the guy uh, with the uh, with the little snowman. Because as you can see, he's complete. Look, he has his top hat. I can see a bit of his arms. I think he has his nose too. I'm gonna go and get a reward because there is a reward for this. So let's go and get it. Hooray! The snowman is done. Yay! Pretty cool. Take this. And we got another 100 crystals. So we really have a lot of money now. Anyways, guys, I want to end this part here because, well, we are finished with the first world and now we have to do the second world. Oh, I wanted to do something. Come on. Oh, it's not that hard. There we go. We are on top of the snowman. Now we are boss. Anyways, I want to end this video here because, well, we're done with the first world for now. And I need to uh, look how I'm going to edit my new parts for the second world. Because there are lots of new missions in the second world. Lots of new bosses too. So I'm going to see you next time, guys, in part 4 of my Quark 2 walkthrough series. Please like, favorite, subscribe if you like the content. And I'll see you next time. Peace. This one has crushers in him, so don't get crushed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, snap. Oh, whoa. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know what the hell I did.